Howdy folks, welcome back. Uh, today's video is gonna be a brief one, uh, but it's gonna be for beginners, and then we're gonna talk about water and sewer. Two things, really quick, uh, and it's some important guidelines, and it's some important things uh, that you need to know, especially if this is your first time uh, in your GeoPro. This also applies to a lot of other campers out there too. So follow along, here we go. Uh, again, uh, product descriptions for the items you're gonna see in this video are gonna be right down below. Um, and you're gonna need pretty much all of them. So uh, whether you get them from the links down below or you get them somewhere else, you're gonna have to have them. So here we go. All right, first things first, we're gonna talk about these two valves here. Gray water, black water. That's your toilet, that's everything else, uh, where everything else drains is this tank in your camper. Gray tank, black tank, gray tank, black tank, okay? You can see I've got my gray tank open. I always leave my gray tank open until the day before I get ready to leave. There's a reason behind that, and I'll explain that in just a minute. What you don't want to do, um, you're going to have to, like for me, for example, if I'm out here for a week, I'm going to have to empty this black tank a couple of times while I'm here. So while I do that, though, I don't want to leave that guy open because this water is going to flood back up that line. Sorry, it sounds like we've got somebody making camper repairs in the background. Disregard that. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to close this guy to empty this guy. So here we go. All right, when I get done, I'm going to reverse that and now I'm back to normal operation. And there we go, okay? All right, so now I'm going to use my uh, sewer uh, black tank flush. So I'm gonna use that. So here we go. You can see I have my gray tank closed, my black tank open. I have my hose connected to this, and it says very clearly, do not use tank flush valves unless the full way termination valve is in the open position. The reason behind that is if you leave it closed, this guy, and you use this, your water will ultimately, at some point, if you just let it go, flood out of your toilet. So that would be bad. So. That'd be a lot of nasty water in your camper. So anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and start my flush here. And it's gonna make weird little spinny noises. Um, as a general rule, I don't leave this sitting by itself. So it's just my rule, I'll, I'll watch it uh, until it's done. And I usually let it go for a few minutes not gonna wait here for that so we're gonna move on to the next thing uh, but ultimately just turn your water back off disconnect your hose and you're good to go I will say this works really well um, uh, our tank our tank stays pretty clean no smells in the camper etc we also use the TST pellets which you'll see in the link down below we drop those in the toilet when we get here if you happen to flush or drain this midway through your uh, your trip you probably want to drop another one of those pellets in there so basically every time you drain it drop another one of the pellets in there afterwards. Um, here's my sewer hose, my fancy two-piece sewer hose, along with my little incline for the sewer hose. You can see it keeps it nice and solid, and it doesn't dip down right here uh, at the connection. So that works really, really well. Uh, I would advise, that's as kind of an essential, uh, depending on, it always depends on the campground. Sometimes you don't need it, sometimes you do, but it's always nice to have it. All right, now we're over here on the freshwater side. So right here you can see I've got my filter, I've got my little 90. Uh, more and more often I find myself connecting this here instead of over there. Um, and the reason being is most times those are too low to the ground, so my filter don't, it doesn't really work over there. So I've just been connecting it here. Yes, it puts a little extra weight up here, um, but generally speaking, it's, it works. So city water. So if you've got water supply at your campground, that's where you're gonna connect your city water to this guy. It's the same on every single GeoPro camper. Maybe in a different location, but this looks exactly the same. Here is your freshwater tank. So if you don't have city water and you needed to fill your water at the house and take it with you, this is where you would put that water at, all right? This will not work, your water will not work unless you turn the pump on inside and it says water pump. So turn that on with this tank full and it will operate. This here is for winterization. So this is where I would hook a hose to, put it in a bucket full of antifreeze, turn my pump on, and then run the antifreeze through my lines. Um, once 
Um, I go to each faucet open and get a little bit of pink out of it, both sides, a little bit of pink out of it. You know, kitchen sink, bathroom sink, shower, toilet. Once I do that, uh, then I turn my pump off and I'm winterized. What you don't want to do though is do that before you t close the valves on this. Uh, there are videos out there for winterization, but that's pretty simple. Close your two valves, uh, top and bottom, on the inside. It's inside your camper uh, to the back side of your water heater. You don't want to run an antifreeze through that. But also to winterize it, you have to pull the anode out, which is this little guy. And there's, uh, I think I've got the sizes listed somewhere on one of my videos, but I'll put them in the link below. Uh, the size sockets that you're going to need to do that as well. Um, and keep that on board. So that's pretty much it. That's as simple as it gets. Um, you know, I hope this helps somebody. Um, we'll, uh, we'll keep these beginner videos going uh, when little things come up. I uh, just saw somebody the other day flooded their camper. They thought they were connected to city water and it turns out they were connected to their tank flush. So keep that in mind. Uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks.